Water Valley Blue Devil football is being brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Yalabushi Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Trial Lake Eye Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black & Associates, Midtown Auto Parts, Coffeeville Main Street Insurance, Crow Martin PLLC, C.W. White Incorporated, Horan & Horan PLLC, Fisher Properties, Shelter Insurance, Vans Furniture & Laundry, and Mechanics Bank. And now with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Steve Lindsay and Chad Franks. All right, good evening everybody. Blue Devil fans, we're here in Bruce, Mississippi tonight for the contest between the Blue Devils and the Trojans. Uh, this one is expected to go about a little bit, a little bit harder maybe than last week, but uh, the input that I get from the coaches should be uh, a very attainable win for the uh, Blue Devils this week. Last week, uh, Water Valley beat J.C. George 41 to six in a clock runner. Bruce lost to Coffee. Uh, Bruce won over Coffeeville 42 to six. Water Valley in three games has averaged 40, 41.3 yard uh, points on offense and, and given up 6.6 .6 points on defense. Bruce has uh, gained 27.6 points on offense and given up 17.3 points on defense per game. Chad, they, just looking at those numbers right here, I know it's early, but. Something has to give. Yeah, you know. Something has to give on, on, you know, on one side or both maybe. Later on in the year when we start getting into conference play and things like that, it, it starts to get a little bit more of a, uh, uh, less of a, uh, and you, you don't place as much importance on the, on that until after you've been a, a game or two into the right. regular, in, into yep. the uh, divisional play. But uh, right now, according to what I've ta I've heard from the coaches and things like that, it's it's Water Valley's just got to go out there and take care of business. They do, you know. And we were kind of sort of joking around, you know, how did we want to sort of introduce all of this? And I I've been thinking all day today that, you know, for the first three weeks, Coach Embry, the rest of the coaching staff, we've sort of been test driving. You know, yep. we, we haven't really kicked the tires, and we may have to kick the tires a little bit tonight. We may have to open it up a little bit I told, and try something yeah. a little bit different. I told somebody the other day, I said, it doesn't matter if Bruce is, say, outmanned a little bit or this or that. Mm. They're going to show up because they I'll are. tell you what, they got Clint Faust. Yep. Clint Faust uh, coached at Water Valley for a while, and he is a very prideful person, and he's going to want to come out here and see what he can do. He's not going to give up. He's not going to roll over. He's going to come out and give it a, uh, his best shot. So uh, Water Valley, the players have to be – they have to come out and show up. Right. You know, and tonight for, you know, for the Bruce fans, of course, we're visitors. You know, we're guests. I don't know that visitor is even the right word, but a lot of schools are doing military appreciation, especially in light of, yep. you know, the anniversary of 9-11 coming up on Tuesday. And so, you know, these kids are going to be pumped and ready to go. The, the crowd, you know, anytime you get the opportunity to play, you know, a, a close rival, somebody that you're familiar with in front of the home team, in front of the home fans, that puts a little more zip in your step as well. Well, I'll tell you what, I, you mentioned 9-11 and – and our country and stuff like I'm telling you, when I was playing down in Jacksonville, and this is a little selfish, I get to tell a little story. I'm telling you, to stand on that field and and have the planes fly over and the national anthems playing, mm. you just don't feel any more uh, blessed. Your goosebumps have goosebumps. Then, no matter who you are, right. I mean, you are incredibly blessed. And you start thinking about kids in India and uh, Asia and wherever they might be that are – living in, in ditches, you know, washing clothes in ditches and trying to get clean drinking water. And we're we're making tons of money to stand out there and, and play a game that we love. And I'll tell you what, but you mentioned that. I was like, yeah, to me, that would be a factor tonight. I would want to – that would pump me up a little bit. Last week, Jay-Z George, that's the third week in a row we've run the clock. Yeah. And it was, you know, for us, we kind of joked around, thought the running clock might have happened even a little bit earlier and I think they maybe even stopped the clock in the fourth quarter. You know, and I think our defense is a little bit misleading. 
those scores, every one of those are the last two right. scores for the last couple of weeks, and they've come late in the game. You know, the score is already decided. Fresh jerseys. That's right, fresh jerseys, and we love having our young men getting some playing experience and things like that. But, you know, those those six points on defense might actually even be a little bit high, if we're being honest. Oh, yeah. If so when being, you look at this, uh, the, the average, the totals, mm-hmm. the, the, the weekly average input and output on offense and defense, it's, it's not uh, a tell-all right. for what we're capable of. So tonight against Bruce – we could ha- we could see a little push, but you know the the boys are be- uh, they've got to be ready. We come back in a few minutes. Bob's going to give us a, a breakdown of the, a little bit of the history between Water Valley and the Bruce Trojans, and uh, kind of get you up to speed on how things have been in the past. So we'll be back in a minute. You're watching Blue Devil Football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Insurance Get Real Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. See agents Chuck Up Church, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. See WI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. CW White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non ethanol free gasolines. Open 24 7 on Wise Street. Also, additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Cenotopia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. It's time for Bob to give us a rundown on the history between the Blue Devils and the Trojans. Bob, what have you? This is the 48th meeting between the schools. Overall series, Water Valley lead. It's a very close. Water Valley leads 24 to 22 and one. 24, 22 and one is the uh, series record. Uh, Not as close as the state Ole Miss record. I'm just (laughs) throwing that out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, But and only recently in the last few years, uh, Bruce had led for a number of years, and Water Valley in the last several years have have won back-to-back games and uh, have pulled ahead. Now, the first meeting goes back to 1947 on October the 14th. Water Valley won 26 to zip. The last meeting was, of course, last year. Water Valley won in a big way 46 to six. That happened on September the 8th. Now, games here in Bruce, uh, Bruce does lead the series 13 games, 9 and 1. Last win for Bruce over Water Valley 10 years ago, guys. Mm. 2008, wow. 33 to 14. Coach Brad Emery, of course, a former Trojan himself, That's right. is 6 and 1 against the uh, Tro- uh, Bruce Trojans. The Devils are 11 4 against Bruce <laughs> since 2000. I just mentioned that they had, had won a lot of games in previous years, and there's, there's the, the, the record to show you. Last winning year for Bruce was 2013. They were wow. seven and four that year. Since 2000, the Trojans have had nine losing seasons. That's just not like the Trojans. No. They, they typically, uh, a losing year is extremely rare for the, for the uh, Trojans. The uh, Bruce Trojans, they were actually a member of class 3A before 1991. They moved down to 2A, they've been to 2A since then. The year that Water Valley won the, uh, uh, won the state championship in 1990, Bruce and Water Valley was in the same division. The uh, two teams played every year from 1972 to 2008 when that series uh, stopped and resumed a couple of years later. 
uh, Blue Devil head uh, coach Brad Embry. He, of course, played for the Bruce Trojans back in the 1990s. And as mentioned earlier, the 46 points last year is the most the Devil team has ever scored against the Trojans. Mm. The 40-point win is the largest margin victory for Water Valley in the series. And on this date in history, in Blue Devil history, uh, the uh, Water Valley record is 5-3-0. For September the 7th, and uh, Water Valley and Bruce has played on September the 7th once before. That was uh, just a few years ago in 2012. Water Valley won that in a very close game, 17 to 16. Woo! Wow. We welcome everyone. Well, the with Arrow Coach Valley Faust Spotify. being the head coach uh, the at the Bruce Trojans, the the I expect Trojans. that, uh, just like we said earlier, we're going to get. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more of a push than normal. And he has done a really good job rebuilding this team. He took it over in shambles. And now uh, I'm hearing the crowd start to talk more and more about how, how impressed they are with the younger kids. So, and it takes that. It takes uh, coming in in seventh grade, sixth grade, and start to get these kids set up for ninth, tenth, and eleventh and twelfth. When you start working on these kids when they're younger, you know, giving them some playing experience and playing time, that's sort of what Coach Embry does with our young guys, when, especially when the game is well in hand. And, you know, you're building for the future, and hopefully Coach Faust does have a long, successful future here um, at Bruce High School. But certainly we're not going to necessarily wish him best of luck tonight. We're just going to hope that everything goes well and no one gets hurt. Uh, a couple of scores before we go. To break. North Panola well, lost last week to Lafayette 33 14. Well. MS Palmer and lost to Holmes Central 36 6. Independence the lost to Senatobia 44 12. I knew I didn't see Russo's post on Facebook or Twitter for a reason. That guy. Cahoma <laughs> HS over West Tally 36 22. And Holly Springs beat Ashland 45 6. This ought to be a fun one to, or at least interesting, the first quarter and see what happens. We'll be back with the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays 8 till 5. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the Old Fashioned Snack Bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. All right, we're back, everybody. Just moments from kickoff. The Bruce Trojans have won the toss and deferred to the second half, so Water Valley will be, I think, receiving the ball, right? Is that is that what you would say? That's what I'm saying. I'm so confused. I felt like they, know, they were kicking. <laughs> you know, we, the guy we, waved, the ref waved off us as so though we had won. So I'm, we'll I'm, find I'm out. Looking. Yeah, we'll find yeah. out in a minute. But usually, and, and this happened to us at Ole Miss one time. We the other team won the the kick, the, the won the coin toss, and we got to they deferred to the second right. half, and we said we want to kick. Well, guess what? We kicked twice. Right, and that doesn't you know, work that doesn't because make they work. Yeah. they get to pick. You know, at that point, you know in the second half whether or not they want the ball. Yep. So we kicked to begin the game, and then they wanted the ball again after the half. So we kicked twice. It looks like uh, Jacob Welch, I'm trying to find a – Probably Dre. I'm trying to find Dre. Yeah, I see, I see Dre, Dre. McRae. Yep. He's out there, but is he on kickoff return? <laughs> I don't see a T in his hand. That's what's throwing me off. 
To be continued. <laughs> right. Or concluded, I guess, I suppose concluded. Well, we know from two or three, and we heard it, yep. that Bruce had won the toss. And, uh, of course, Dre does have the tee, so he's kicking off, you would think. But, no, well, he doesn't no. have the tee. He must have had his glove in his hand. Now Bruce is kicking off to the Bully Devils. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. We're going to get the ball. Who Which was is, it? Who was the NFL quarterback several years ago? We want the ball and we're going to score. Who was that? Or was it a college remember. kid? Uh, I can't remember. Is that Tebow? Was. No, what Tebow that, that, was? That's, that's, that's not enough. Yeah, that's too much for Tebow. But it was a kid. We want the ball and we're going to score first. I remember that. I just can't, I can't remember, remember who it was. Who it was. <laughs> uh, the Trojan kicker is setting it up watermelon style. Bob, you remember we used to do that quite often uh, a few years back. Off of the we'll see how this goes. It usually doesn't go too great. Field position. Probably hard to up, catch. Giving up a lot of field position, oh, and there you go. It. Case there you go. closed. Water Valley's going to have Good the ball job. on the 37-yard line. That was Jacob Truss covering it up. At the 37-yard line. Well, the Water Valley offense has been, I would say, more polished each week. Yeah. And yeah, if they continue with the, they, we have we still have weapons. We lost a weapon last year. Uh, one of our receivers, big, tall receiver we lost, but we still have very dangerous slot and outside receivers. Well, and Rocket's back in, too. Rocket is back in again. He's been out for a couple of weeks with a growing injury. Blaine Clark's in the uh, shotgun position. Rucker takes the handoff around the right side. He's got a good block by Marley yeah, Cook. He's on about seven. Look like uh, – Kawan Hervey. Tackle by Nick Cruz for the I think you're right. He pulled off about, uh, I guess we're going to have to call it Gain of seven yards. Seven yards. That's right. Second down, second and three. Yeah, Kawan Hervey. I mean, he was right behind Kawan, and he didn't have really any contact until he got out there, and he just kind of went down. Blaine gets the snap, hands off to Rucker again around the right side. Must be something they're looking for over there. Rucker's still running. Mm. He's mm. inside mm. Trojan mm. territory, still bumbling and stumbling down to the 20-yard line. Go, wow. Little Berry. Little Berry. The legs just don't Man. stop, do they? No, just keep pumping, keep Second pumping. Well, you know, we noticed a couple of weeks ago that we tend to kind of run around that right side and not necessarily against, um, you know, different opponents. Or, I mean, excuse me, not individual opponents. That right side does seem to probably benefit us a little bit more. It looks like you've got Ja'Cory and Marley on that side. They're they're both they're veteran money. big guys. Yeah, they're money. Hand it off to Rucker up the middle. Ooh. and I think that guy came uh, from the I think middle we pulled outside. A, we may have pulled a guard on that play, and defender just came clean and made the tackle in the backfield. Uh, looks like Rucker still gained a yard. <laughs> you kidding me? Mm. Second and nine. You get hit in the backfield. Uh, Three or four yards in back, you still get a yard. That's and that Glassby kid is showing six foot two fifty. So, uh oh, Bruce has jumped off sides. It looks like it, we'll see if they were baited offside defense. It's going to move it up five yards. So, a good first down stop for the Trojans mm. turns out to be a seven yard gain. Right, and you know for down, six yard four. gain, second and four. It's a pretty good starting point. Well, he needs to throw the ball when Water Valley can run it just at will mm. at any time. He gives off to Rucker off the left side, and he's got daylight. I think he's going to be Nice close. stiff arm, there and he's goes. in his own. Yeah. Touchdown, Water Rucker Valley. That's going to be a 15-yard touchdown, touchdown run by Mr. Tay Rucker. That's going to bring out John. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see if they're going to bring Surrett out. Yep, they are. Okay, Welch is going to be the holder, Surrett the kicker. Looks like Grant Burris is going to snap it. So with 10.41 to go in the first quarter, Water Valley already in the end zone. Jacob Welch, he, Welch asks for the ball. He gets it. It's down. John's kick is up and good. And good. The kick by Sarah nice is kick. Good with 10.41 to go in the first quarter of play. It's nice Water drive by the Blue Devils. 10.41, 7-0. Water Valley will be back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. 
It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Greg McCray kicks it, puts a foot into it. This time it's not very deep like last week. Caught it to 24. Number 35 for Bruce. Gets it. He takes it back. Oh, and fumble. he puts it on the ground, but Bruce recovers. Mm. So mm. That was a lick by a on the play. either Isaiah White or, uh, let's see, maybe Nate Murphy. Tackle well, Nate was Murphy, in pursuit, so I think that was Isaiah that actually hit the, the, hit the ball. Line. Micah Hervey was in there in, the, in that pile up too. And Dre McCray was right there right on top of him. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Dre McRae is it's funny. Remember last week he just booted the ball so mm -hmm. deep, and this one to the 24, that's a bit of a miss hit. Now we're coming to expect those deep kicks. Bruce Trojans come to the line for the, their first series of the ball game. We were just saying, if they don't impress us, this could be a long ball game for could them. Could be. Quarterback's under center. He's got a tailback. It's already a Pitches penalty. the flag down, and he is <laughs> – Wrestled down for a loss of about one. It's going to be a flag on the carry at sure left end. Is. False start. White makes the tackle. There's a flag of the play. False start, Bruce. So they're going to they're going to start first and fifteen. If I was Coach Embry, I would I decline, decline the penalty. It. We have a second and I think 10. that's what he's he's trying to figure out. Can he decline it? Was the flag after the snap or before the it snap? It was after the snap. So I think we can Illegal decline that. The Legal procedure. Five and, uh, yards. It's it would be down. second and 11. First and that's and what's going to happen. Yeah, number one, Jay Collins for Bruce. Pitch that's to number five. Is that Davion Collins? Davion Collins. Second and 11. He coughed it up. This time, Bruce lines up in I formation. Quarterback's going to be under center with a receiver right and left. He takes a snap and goes off to the tailback, up off the left side, and he's swallowed. he swallowed. Maybe, maybe got, yeah, maybe got two yards. That's It'll be guard. third and about. Let's see where they actually spot him. Oof. Benson, third and about. Eight, a, a long Lays eight, really. For the Blue Devils, gain of a couple. Eight and a half. Third down. Mm. Long so, eight. Third down, nine yards yeah, to go Bruce for the Trojans. Is, Bruce has been shut down on the first couple of plays. This time again, they line up with the uh, tailback, but they've offset the fullback. Quarterback takes the ball, hands off to number five. That's tripped over. And he's he just had nowhere to it's run. Water Valley was Isaiah in the White. Yeah, the water battle was in the backfield Collins. before he could get Ron going. McCary. That's going to bring – that's a loss of a yard, Chad. The They're going to have to punt more than down. 10. In punt formation for the Trojans, nine, Martyr. Well, I tried to watch a little bit of pregame, and, and I, you know, of course, my favorite part is the special teams. And right. I tried to watch a little bit of the kicking game, and – Rocket back deep Didn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't look great. I'm hoping this, you know, there's a snap back to the punter. He just Ooh. kicked it sideways. It's a knuckleball got Rocket. to Rocket. He's uh, he's going around the, the near side here. Mm. You grab his jersey. He's going to be out of bounds about the 32-yard line. A mm. flag flies in late. It's going to be on the late, maybe. That usually is ugly for the uh, return team, but. Let's see what they're going to call. Knocked out of bounds. Usually a hold. the 37-yard line, there is a flag on the play. It's going to be a block in the back on Water Valley. It's going to bring it back just a little bit, erase some block of that return. Block in the back Water Valley. Well, Water Valley gets their second possession, and it's the – we're at the nine-minute mark in the, the uh, first Rebels quarter. The penalized 10 yards, marked the ball at the 44-yard line. First down, there 10 yards go. to go. 
Blaine Clark Another still double. in the game. Tay Rucker's in the game. Welch will be a, the near side receiver. Uh, it's going to be uh, Buds out there on the far side, on the visitor side. Got McIntosh lined up. And he's, they say he was the one that they were going for. Mm -hmm. Lane had him wide open up Did. the seam. Just a little seam route right up the, right up the hash. And, fingertips. And right off the fingertips. He catches that ball, and it's, it's going to be 14 to nothing with 8.59 to go. Three minutes in and already getting out of hand. Right. Well, and you run the ball that easy, you start catching those linebackers committing. Mm -hmm. And uh, McIntosh was just wide open. Blaine gets a snap. He gets off to Rucker off the right side. He's got blocks. There's That's a hole. A holding, I think. They're going to bring this one back. Tay has a good run down to inside the 15, but going to be a race. It's going to be not just a race, but negated because right it's coming right, back. It's going to come back to about the Tackle almost the 50 yard line, probably the 40 Bruce's 49 yard line, somewhere in that vicinity is where they they threw the flag on about the 39. So if it's a spot foul, it'll come back to the about the 49. It's kind of quiet, man. Mm. You know, have you noticed in the last three weeks, four weeks, it's just been really quiet on the road? Well, I should say, you know, we're playing in someone else's stadium and just having our Holding way with them, and that the kind of right. make, that takes the crowd out of Water it. You know, I remember our first game of the foul. season, the and it was the yeah, people yelling out this and that, and, and it was kind of loud, but it's just been quiet the last three weeks. It's a little surreal when you at a football <laughs> game and you can hear the person sitting next to you talking. Right. It's going to be second down and about 15 for the Blue Devils. Blaine gets the snap. He throws out to Bud down the right side, and he's got it. He's, he's gone. He's gone. That's going to be about a 49-yard touchdown for Bud. Clark wow. 821 on the Carter clock and no flags. Blue Devil Fort touchdown. Touchdown, Blue Devils. <laughs> wow, Chad. I mean, we, mm. we expected, you know, Watervelli to kind of take – control of the game, but wow. Not in the first three minutes. Not this crazy It's quick. only been three minutes and uh, 39 seconds. John Surrett on to attempt the point after drive. John Surrett set. Jacob Welch to hold. Grant Burris snaps the ball back. Oh, a little movement on the on the, and that's good because yeah, I think John made the kick, but they're going to redo it from five yards back. I think it was uh, maybe Ja'Cory or somebody over there on that right side, side flinched bit. when the Bruce mm -hmm. defense jumped. They kind of jumped real quick Illegal procedure against the and Blue baited them off sides. This is good, though. I, I like it. Uh, John is going to get to kick something farther than an extra point, and that's good for him. We haven't had to do that. I would I would say if I was a coach, I might even later on in the game, I'd get two or three penalties and let's kick them a 30, 40 yards. Put a pressure, <laughs> put a little pressure on them. Let's see what you got, buddy. <laughs> From five yards further, it's going to be a 25 yard extra point. The snaps back, and good down, still. the kick's up, and good. Way to go, John. The kick is good. That it's brings the score to 14 to 0, 821 in the first quarter. Bruce, no score. We'll be back in just a minute for the kickoff. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American, too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. All right, we're back for the kickoff. Water Valley goes up 14 to 0, 821. Greg McCray set to kick this thing off. And uh, we're, we're really expecting it to be inside the five. Come on, Dre. Another, another short one this time down to the better. 20. 
Uh, let's see. That's going to be McIntosh. Almost got the play made. And then, oh, oh careful, guys. Yep. They didn't throw the flag, the but it was close. That was a judgment call right there, Chad. I'm telling you, they could have thrown it. They could have. It was close Coach enough. Water right. Valley for a late hit out of bounds. Yard down. Well, we were just talking to Mark Goose, former Water Valley football player, and he was saying, that, man, it sure looks a whole lot easier than it was. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said, well, you, you didn't have the same line that uh, these kids that, uh, you know, Rucker is enjoying right now. He's – He's sitting behind a line that we haven't seen in a long time. Well, it's not just size and strength, but experience with these right, guys, Right, right. It's the whole package. That's right. Bruce lines up in I formation, receiver top and bottom. They hand oh, – he Option. kept it. Yeah, he it. kept it. He's off the right side. Uh -oh, watch oh. it. Watch it. Watch the hands. Paris. Paris did look like he had those hands up around the face right mask area, but – no I think flag. he had him kind of maybe around the chest here with the on the shoulder the pads. The but it was close enough that, and I think second the referee down. may be saying something to him, actually. Second and six. It'll be second and six on a gain of four. That was Paris and Rocket both in on that one. That's uh, Bruce's longest gain so far, Chad. Four mm. yards. Mm. We won't call it a comeback. <laughs> Eye formation, different fullback this time. Number 50. Mm. I think he's, he's a little bigger than the last one. He's a little one. bit bigger. <laughs> One gets a snap, hands off over the left Ooh. side. He's taken down for about a two, maybe three-yard gain. It's going to bring it up probably to the 42-yard line, third and two, third and two. That was a pretty good stop there just with the, you know, with the alternative of him getting around. Javarius hit him Hello. towards Benson, number 11. Met him well, right there in the hole. I'm telling you, I, I Benson, like the two-yard gain stops mm -hmm. sometimes because it tells you that we Game weren't just selling out for the run. Down. We were actually Third reading the play. Yep. And that is, sometimes a two-yard gain for your defense on your defense is a good thing. Yep. That means we're, we're doing – we're, we're everybody's, going down the checklist. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. Snaps back, gives a number five. Man, he is stopped, stopped him. right at the – maybe half a yard. It's going to be fourth and short. And there's Cullen, about five that people in there. Yeah, a that, that ton of Blue Devils, just about the whole interior White, line man. and a couple and of linebackers. Cook, I, think, I think Cook <laughs> and White. Gain of one half I think yard Murphy. Fourth down. I think Adams was on the bottom. I think Benson was in fourth on there. Fourth down and a half yard. You know, it just seems to me like if, if I'm Bruce, I would do the old Tebow fake the run up the middle, and then jump Double pass. jump pass. Man, I'm telling you, those. Did you see Felipe Franks pull that last week? No, I missed it. He did. Missed it. I guess that was a la Dan Mullen. <laughs> Bruce is going for it. Fourth mm. and short. That's risky on their own 44. Oh, mm. look. I'm, they're going to give it to him. But, to him because man, I'm telling you, forward. that ball was hanging so close ah. to the 45-yard line. But It was that just a little quick handoff. Blue Devils think they, they stopped him, but the they're going to be disappointed. That, that was a great cook. spot. I'm going to tell it you was. what. That ball did not make the 45-yard line. That is crazy. Maybe the nose hit the other First side down. of the 45. Uh, uh, it's going to be close. Well I would say, I would say more off. like the back of the ball is where the front of the ball should be. <laughs> right. Hey, I, I'm not yep. disputing the first down. Right. No, I, I think it was a first down, but just it didn't. he didn't make over the mm -mm. <laughs> The lines a little. Nevertheless, first and first and ten for the Trojans. First, first down. Quarterback hands the ball over the right side to the tailback number five, Cullens. He's picking up some yards. Rocket makes the tackle about the forty-six. First down again. It's gonna be close. Oh, another good spot. I had him out at the forty-six. They're marking the ball. Wow! Whoa! Extra foot. That's an extra yard right there. Wow! First down, ten yards to go. With the ball spotted on the Blue Devil forty-three. There's timeout on the field. Timeout on the field. Let's see. That's gonna be our freshman heat timeout. We'll take a break with them and be back for a first down right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. 
Heritage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Bruce has gotten another first down. It's two in a row. We can... Blue Devils need to make a stop here. They're into Blue Devil territory at the 43-yard line. Number one for Bruce, waiting on the snap. He gives off to Cullens around the left side, and he, mm. I tell you what, he lost a yard. Mm. That was a Cullen's pretty quick tackle right there by, Murphy. was that Nate Murphy? Yeah. Uh, yard. Mark the ball at the 45. I think second Bud ran right by him. Second like uh, McIntosh was close, mm. but, but that was all Murphy right there. <laughs> I think they're in the huddle thinking, all right, who was supposed to have gotten him? Well, you didn't. Get him next time. Collins comes to the line for Bruce. I see Collins still in the backfield. Different fullback again. Number 75. He's a big kid, but he's, he isn't as big as that other guy. Mm -hmm. He hands off to the fullback that time, and who is that? Number 35. That's Marley. Jack, Marley Cook Lindley. on the tackle right th carry. there. Taking to the ground Stone by Stone Lindley in the, on the carry yeah, there at 180. Get, uh, I think he's probably a little bigger than no 180. Game to play. It's yeah, third he down. got, uh, he third got down back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be third and 11 for the Trojans. Marley's coming out of the game. Kawan Hervey is coming in for him. Ah, I don't know, man. I, I just I don't take I don't take Marley off the field mm. in, in third and long situation. Unless you're thinking maybe they're going for the pass. Hervey is a All little right. maybe quicker. Yeah. You know, he's going to be probably more apt to get to the quarterback mm -hmm. with his speed. But, you know, I love to see Cook, Marley, not, not necessarily his younger brother at the moment, but Marley gets after those field. running Time backs, man. He boot. gets through the line and just gets after them. That's right. We got a timeout on the field out of the Trojans. We'll be back in just a minute for third Reminded down. You're watching Blue Devil football. DHS. Water Valley, what a great place to live. And Fisher Properties, your home-owned real estate company, wants to help. Whether you are buying, selling, or just looking to rent, let Fisher Properties serve your real estate needs. Contact them at 473-4503, come by 105 Railroad Street in Water Valley, or check them out on the web at fisherproperties.net. Let Fisher's real estate experience work for you. On a starless Wednesday night, Disaster strikes. The call goes out and Shelter Insurance is on the way. Disaster is helpless against Shelter's awesome powers. Oh, you're working on Mom's comic book. It's the graphic novel, Dad. <laughs> okay. The superhero's home and she's got pizza? Yes! Find your insurance superhero at shelterinsurance.com. You can save when you insure both your home and auto with Shelter. See Cherie Jackson for details. Bruce has got a third and 11 coming up. And they were doing pretty good there for a minute, Chad, and they kind of stalled out a couple they of good have. plays out of the defense. They're looking to snap quickly. Oh, that was they a quick snap. Move, Ball's move. on the ground. That's not going to mm. go anywhere. Grant mm. Burris on the tackle. And who is who else was in there? That was uh, Benson. Yeah, White Benson tackle. at White. Right. Burris and Number 22, Kelvin McIntosh. Gain of one yard. It's fourth It's going to be a gain of one. Be and ten. About four, well, Maybe a little more than one. They're just inside 10 yards, so it'll be, we'll call it fourth and 10. I guess we're going to call this four down territory. Uh, I guess, you know. Four uh, down option anyway. Man, I, I just don't know. I, mm -mm. I, I might it. pin it back. Play field position. Mm-hmm. And 14 is not well a terrible deficit either. It's going to be a pass. They're looking down the right side. They're going after Bud. Bud's on it. He's got it. Mm. Interception. How far can he go? He's got a block. He's got another block. Look at this. He's gone. He's gone. That's going to be an 80-yard touchdown return by Bud Tolbert. Interception, a pick six. Water Valley Blue Devil touchdown. <laughs> All he needed was that one block over there, and he got it. Mm. They're actually throwing the, the bean down is down at the 10-yard line, That's so where they're saying thinking. 90 it's, yards. It's going to be closer to 90. Right. Wow. Man, stat patter right there. Woo. You know? 
Somebody was saying, you know, we were on Facebook all last week about how good the running back out of Ole Miss did, and I said, well, let's let's not put our horse, our carriage in front of the horse. Let's see how he does on an average game whenever we're up against the defense and doesn't let him run for 80 on one play, you know. But still, man, that's uh, that's a nice pick six right there. Mm-hmm. Surrett back to kick the extra point. Welch to hold. Snaps down. The kick's good. Good job, special teams. 21 0 Blue Devils. We're going to take a break and be right back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. CWI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil Football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. CWD White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non ethanol free gasolines. Open 24 7 on Wise Street. Also, additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. If you're looking for a gift that is personalized, one of a kind, far from the ordinary, and reasonably priced, The Other Room has just what you're looking for. Custom orders for any occasion are Kay's specialty. 3.47 to go in the first quarter. Water Valley's already hung 21 on the Trojans. Dre McCray said to kick it off, but this time he hits a mute. It's going over the return. Get, he, he snagged it at the four. Mm. Took a four back for to the one. Yeah, and he's going to be inside the 20 tackled, inside the 15, call it about the 13 or 14-yard line. My goodness. That was a good – see, that's what mm -hmm. we were expecting out of him this week after last week. Yeah. Well, and he's gotten a little farther and a little farther. That was a really good move Both there. Five you know, the Mom 10. used to say, yeah, I saw you Both made an A on that test. Tackle. I expect A's now all Both the time. The you know? Like, well, that's not how it works, Mom. Down. The go. material changed. If you're familiar with the old, um, older <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, but the older brother, the older brother is like, "Don't be good at anything you don't want to do." Well, That's certainly, right. I think he wants to kick because he's very good <laughs> at it. Bruce comes to the line. Hey, yeah, uh, this is this is a position they really need to burn some clock and uh, run the football mm -hmm. and make some progress. He hands oh. off to Collins. Mm -hmm. He's hit immediately. Benson and Burris on that left right side have just got it locked down. Just laid down on top of him and pushed him to the ground. You know, and some of that, I'm going to tell you, is a little bit of experience maybe out of Collins. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if he can just see that a little bit, maybe he can bounce it out. You see a lot of uh, college and pro running backs, they'll head into that and then stop and then bounce out, kind of mm -hmm. like the kid, Scotty P, I call right. him, yep. <laughs> at Ole Miss did on his touchdown run last week. He was locked up, and then he just bounced it outside and made something out of nothing. Made so several times something out of nothing. He did. <laughs> Four seconds on the clock, on the play clock. Hand off to Cullens again off the left side. Really maybe two yards on that carry. Just almost nothing doing. It's going to bring up third and about seven. Cullens. But it's a little misnomer uh, to say we're firing on all cylinders. I don't know that we've, you know, really just had to. We, I mean – we were literally just talking a moment ago how Sales. that pass, I mean, almost as a swing, two. you know, third that down, if they had punted, they could have pushed, you know, pushed us back mm -hmm. a little farther, and, you know, then immediately it's another seven-point swing our way. Well, add to that, I mean, that's, that's what happens when you're playing a team that you perceive or, or that, that is better. You're going to mm -hmm. do some things that you wouldn't necessarily do that are that may be that's not going to punish. Work. You may yep. be punished for uh, more severely. I'm thinking we're punting this time. They probably. Uh, yeah, uh, fourth and down. There was the pass was intended for. Uh, was that number 13 mm -hmm. for Bruce? He missed it. Went right through his hands or just off the fingertips. That's going to bring up fourth and about six or seven for the Trojans. Back at their own 16-yard line. That's yeah. You, you better kick this one. You might want to do well. well Rocket's going to line up 10, 25 yards from the line of scrimmage, which is, I would say he might be even a little far back. Snap rolls mm. back. It's kicked quick. Yeah, and it only makes it 20 yards, and then it hits the ground. Rocket gets it. He's going to cut it back across the field. Oh, they're mm -hmm. going to – no, they, that's inside position. Rocket's going to take it to the house, but it's coming back. 
Wow, mm. he had a block, but I'm saying they call block in the back, but the defender turned his back and was moving away from the play. That's a seal block. It's not a block in the back. No, it has nothing to do with the outcome of the play. Those are the penalties that really well, irritate me. If you're seal, it's a seal block. Mm. You, you, you're not. It's not a block in the back if it's a seal block. You're, you're sealing the outside of the arc around the bubble around the player, and. You know, if the player comes and turns his back into you and you hit him in the back, that's not a block in the back. So, I don't know. Mm. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter what we think, it's coming back. Mm. <laughs> but you hate Rocket's been out for two weeks and, you know, he ran the ball all the way back for a touchdown and he gets called back for Blocking a little bump. On the return against the Blue Devils. Silly. The ball will be put into play from the 43-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go for the Blue Devils. Jacob Truss in the ball game. Blaine Clark is out. Rucker's still in the game. You've got uh, Jacob Welch on the near side, Bud Tolbert on the far side. Rockets coming in. Got a Kyle Hill Houston. Kyle Hill's in the slot. Of course, that line is still in. Mm. <laughs> Uh, so we've got two slot receivers. You got uh, Kyle Hill league. and Rocket. They're going to give to Rucker right off mm. the left side, mm. and he's got blocks. Mm. And he's wow, what a move! Mm. He's still on his feet. Mm. <laughs> his center Goodness of gravity, that is incredible. He's still wow. Man. Now he lost six yards on that at the Find end, the but I'm going to tell you, we'll take it. I'll take it every day because the next time Finally it's going to pick up thirty. Wow! Gain inside Trojan territory. To if you're if you're watching that, you just watch. You better TiVo it and record it and rewind it and watch it again because that was some big league shake and bake. Well, and my thoughts are too. If you're a college coach looking for a good kid and a good running back, you you might want to hit rewind a few more times. You're gonna get a GPA and talent on the field. Truss is gonna hum it down the far sideline to is that Tolbert and he's got it. He's got it at the middle here. Uh, about the 10 yard or about the 15 yard line, but flag. Let's see what it is at the 40 yard line. Number 57 wound up with his helmet off, so I don't know. Hey, we were watching for Water Bud. Valley or for Game Bruce. For Bruce. Uh oh, that could be illegal hands to the face, and that bring us back 15, I think. Mm. <laughs> Coach Roberts informed us that's not a hole. Holding on the blue devil. <laughs> it's not a hole. <laughs> I don't know. They're going to call it 10 yards from the spot. They're going to call it a hold. And uh, Water Valley is going to have a first and roughly 20 from the their own 48-yard line. Wow, so another, that's two in the last couple minutes. We got one minute and 22 this seconds left in the first quarter. I dare say this is very uncharacteristic to what we've seen. First we haven't down. seen a whole lot of penalties. No. First and 19. Really none that have cost us anything. Truss gets a snap. He's right up the middle with it on a keeper. He gets about, about five. five. And, I mean, who wouldn't get five? Truss, right. the quarterback keeper. I think me and you could get five. I might could fall three. <laughs> Especially behind them big ones. But Ooh. I'm going to get six Nick and a half because he ate the hamburger steak <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Sort of a shame to go to the Pizza Palace and get a hamburger down, steak, but, man, it was good. There was no shame in that game. Too good. Water Valley's going to have a second and looks like they're a little bit better spot, second about 14. Jacob Trust gets a snap, hands off to Tay Rucker. Tay Rucker's off the left side. He go. has got mm. – wow. Mm. He's close to the first down. He's going to be a couple of yards shy. That was about a 12-yard pickup. That looks and that's number four, good. Trey Wolford, or Wolford, I guess is the way you say his last Wolford. name. He, you know, good tackle, hit his legs, and the ground you know, you're not again. really going this anywhere without your legs. That was a pretty good open field tackle because he was about to get Third trucked. Down. Third down Third and four down, three yards for the Blue Devils. For the Blue this Devils. is uh, probably about the first time we've been tested on third down. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. That's going to be the end of the first. End of the first quarter, 21 to nothing. Your score, Water Valley. That's we'll be back the for the second play. quarter in Water just a minute here watching Blue Devil football. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles. Custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm and heavy-duty equipment. 
three and four wheeler parts and small engine parts too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m. Six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts. The real parts store. Jacob Truss gets the ball. He keeps it this time up the middle. It's first and we got a pancake block out of Marley Cook over there, way outside the uh, hash marks. Don't you love to see the big guys pancake block somebody 20 yards away from the middle of the field? You know what I love about that? We use the term pancake in big guys. Marley don't like pancakes. No. He, he may be more of a waffle guy. He might be a waffle guy. No. A little more sophisticated. I'm going to tell you what, if y'all don't know Marley Cook, incredible kid. I mean, there's nothing else to say. He's incredible. Mm. Great guy. Trust gets a snap. He's looking. He's running it himself. Ooh. He's off the Ooh. right side. And he's got room. Oh, wow. Hole opened up. He cuts mm. back. Touchdown. 20, 28. 28, 28 yard touchdown for Jacob Trust. Right he just had great blocking. I mean, I'm telling you, not to take anything away from Trust, but I think I could have run that one. I think I could have run it. They would have caught me, but. <laughs> As long as there was a dog behind me or something, I probably could have made that one. Look, I had a buddy I used to work with for years. He said, if you see me running, run with me. I'm running from something <laughs> or two donuts. John Surrett for the, the PAT. That took 34 seconds into the second quarter. Snaps down, kicks up. It's yeah. good. Man, that was a good kick. John's just getting better every week. He is. I met him last week. Surrett's it was just a fluke. Good. Yeah, yeah. We had a couple of little problems. 11-26 in the second, second quarter. quarter. The Blue Devils up 28 to zip. We'll be back score. in a minute for the kickoff. You're watching Blue Devil football. Joe Black and Associates, public accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley, are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil athletics and academics. Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field, but in the classroom, offering individual, business, and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll, and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. Did you know that my mom's a superhero? Really? Yeah, when a tornado hits, they call my mom to come help. She races to the scene with her team, and they use their powers to help everyone get their things fixed. Whoa! Everything okay with your friend back there? Yeah, he's just never seen a superhero before. Ask shelter agent Cherie Jackson about shelter's competitive insurance rates. Drake McCray is going to boot it. Oh, he's another good one right here, Chad. That one's inside Beautiful. the five. Touch. Uh, he's going to let Ooh. it go back. Remember last week what happened when that when it hit mm. the one? It just died on the died one. Died on the one. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta go field those. You gotta you gotta follow in, in in the end zone and make sure they get there. Bruce is gonna start their drive at the 20. I would love to see, I'm not a big fan of it, but I, I really would love at the high school level to see touchbacks come to the 25. Yep. It would, you know, it, just because of the flow of the game, a normal average kick and return is gonna be more than the 20 yard line in most cases. Well, a lot of times you're not gonna kick much past the 20. Right. So if so you get a decent run, you're going to be 25, 30 pretty easily you just most can't, of the time. You can't find a whole lot of kickers. It's very rare, even, you know, in the south where soccer's big, it's rare mm -hmm. to get a kicker to hit, hit the ball in the end zone consistently. Bruce comes to the line, eye formation. They're going to give off to the fullback this time, and mm. he didn't even make the line of scrimmage. Oh, Benson oh, comes out of the pile. No! They blew the, <laughs> blew the whistle. Really? Maybe our, oh, we don't know. We don't. I couldn't see because of the the, the lines were in a scrum, and you couldn't see what happened. But Benson sure darted out of there right as soon as the whistle blew, and he was gone. But I love that he kept running. Dude. It'll he be went back. second Lost and twelve second for down, the Trojans. Second and twelve. My goodness, that was. Uh, if you're a Trojan fan, that was good. That was a good call. Good call. Mm -hmm. Good call. <laughs> Collins comes to the line, eye formation. He gives to the tailback this time, number 35. He just, <laughs> McCray just, he stopped the play. He just blew up the fullback and stopped the play right there in the backfield. 
That's going to bring up third and about, what, 12, 11? Let's call it 11. Third down, 11. third down and 11 yards to go. And, you know, it's still early, Chad, but, man, every week we're more impressed. It seems like the defensive line has gotten better every week. They're getting better. They're getting stronger. And I think a lot of that has to do with some with, with their assignments. They're learning right. the system a little bit more. They are. Three, two seconds on the play clock. Bruce is barely getting the ball off. They give it to the fullback or the, the, the tailback, and he got maybe three yards. It's going to bring up fourth and about seven or eight. Lindley at right guard. Stopped by Vincent. And Burris. Vincent and Burris on the, on the stop it's there. Down. Chad, they're getting a little more active there, too. Well, you know, last week, Benson and Burris were quiet for a minute, but they weren't, they were trying to stay away from them, mm -hmm. you know. But there's only so many places you can run. You you try one, it doesn't work. You try another, it doesn't work. Rocket. Back deep, Tracy. Rocket back deep. He's on the 50-yard line. Mm. Low snap, whistles. Play stop. Bruce, uh, I think it's going to be. Yeah, the uh, referee time. said he, he had stopped the clock for some reason. Let's see what it is. He wanted oh, a hamburger. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Bruce actually called a timeout. So it's going to mm -hmm. be timeout, timeout, Bruce. We're going to take a break with him. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American. Too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. All right. Fourth down and fourth down and about eight. For the Trojans, they're going to punt it away. Water Valley's been getting pretty close every time. This time the punt's off end over end to Rocket. He just kind of hangs out mm. and can't just really, he, can't, he couldn't make a decision. Couldn't make his decision and it cost him. As he, he lost a couple of yards on that return back to about the 46-yard line. Get out of the return, immediately. Blaine Clark comes back in the ball game for the Blue Devils as well as Truss, so they'll both be in the game. By Hampton and Nix. The gas is the, the foot is still the on the gas. Put into play at the 47 yard line. And, and you would down. expect it to be, especially to through the, the first double. quarter. I mean, the first half of the ball. You got to be safe. I mean, you got to be smart. I mean, you got to get up 35 to 40 points mm -hmm. before you pull the pull, pull the, the foot off. That's right. And and I wouldn't do it even in the first half. No. You know, you just, I've seen too many things where you lose rhythm and just can't do anything right afterwards. Blaine Clark throws it Whoa, in the slot to McIntosh. He's down the right line. He's gone. Can he be caught? No, oh. sir. Touchdown, Blue Devils. 54-yard touchdown by McIntosh. Clark to McIntosh. Wow. Just right out of the slot, the right down the seam, kind of just like the play earlier that was mm -hmm. missed to him. They went back to it on the, on, the, on, the, on the right side of the field this time, and it worked out. So we're 8.57 into the second quarter, and we're looking at if we had the extra point, it'd be 35 to zip. Water Valley, I'm telling you, this is uh, unlike a team like we haven't seen in a while. I'm just completely blown away, not by how good we are, but, but by how good we look. I mean, you think about a couple of these scores have come off. Well, it's got the hold down, the kick's up, and it looks good. Man, he booted that one. It hit the pickup truck down the there about 30 yards behind the uprights. With 35 to, to zip. Half, the Blue Devils are rolling here early in the ball game. We'll be back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. 
Coffeyville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeyville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. CWI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. CWI White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non-ethanol free gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street. Also additional locations of Local Express and Phillips 66 Gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Cenotopia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. All right, we're back. Dre McCray is set to kick it off. Military Appreciation Night here in Trojan Field down in Bruce. Dre McCray, another good boot this time. Man, no hey, man. look, they're just watching it. It stopped. Hey, hey, hey. It stopped on the two. He picks it up, and he's going to be probably paying for this one. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. He's Goodness down in gracious. right around the 10-yard line. Seriously. And there's a flag. What is this? Come we, on. We tackled him too hard. I just don't get the flag right there unless somebody was running their mouth and said something that they shouldn't have said. Because I didn't see anything. What in the world are they going to call? That, that just – Maybe somebody opened their mouth and let the, something they weren't supposed to say out. Usually in those situations, because we didn't see anything. Right. It had to have been a, a face mask or something like that that we didn't see, but Bruce is backing up. Well, even when we push the pile back and somebody kind of. Personal foul. It's going to be on them. On the Trojans. Yep. Half the distance. They'll be down to about the five-yard line. Personal foul against Bruce. Okay. Wow. The hey, you know, that's just a, it's a frustration. Fa I mean, it just, I, and I don't, you know, I, I, you, they're going to get penalized in practice for it, but you can definitely understand the frustration. Right. You know? He knows, he knows, he knows. must be warning him. Because well, I'm not sure about high school anymore now because it seemed like the rules are a little tweaked, but I know in um, college, you get two personal fouls. That's all you. That you're, you're ejected and you have right. to sit four quarters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you get uh, ejected at the four, 847 mark in this game, then you, you can't, can't play, play until that, point, until next that point next week. That's right. right. That's, all right, Truss is back at safety. Bud's on the near side at DB. Benson in the middle. Got McCray on uh, right, right line by A's. Right side linebacker. Man, I tell you what, they just have left tackle. the linebackers haven't even had to really step up that uh, that often. The defensive line is just right. controlling the whole There's thing. Murphy again. Murphy made the stop. Gain of one yard. Second down. Second and nine. Well, Trojans come up to the line. will be... They, they've got first and nine, but it, we know better. It's second and nine. We had the scene. It was we had the scene. Collins is going to get the snap. He hands off to the tailback, number five, Collins. Collins is going to pick up a couple yeah. up to the ten. He's brought down by Nate Murphy again. Collins. And uh, who was that, McCray? Looked like McCray. I can't, couldn't see well, the McCray other guy. Was right there. McCray was right there on top of him again. Line. The, third the, down. the down marker is not correct. Yeah, third now it is correct. Four. It's third and five, third and four. Third and four for the Trojans. Play is getting run in. The bugs are running us out. They are, look, it's. This it, light is a popular spot for it, all the bugs in uh, <laughs> this county. Calhoun County has no more mosquitoes. They're all right here. <laughs> they need some, need some uh, bats. It's a snap, hands off to Cullens, and he's brought down for a loss, mm. y'all. And that's Nate Murphy again, Cullen. and number 80, Cameron Sales. And it also in. was uh, looked like, who was that? Uh, Sales takes him down. A loss 23. The play. It's fourth down. 23 to Micah Curvin. Hervey. 
Yes. DeMica, they're going to have to punt this one from right around two yards deep in the end zone. Mm. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous for. Well, and Bruce. the other thing is, you're looking at Rocket. He's on his own. He's on the Trojan 35-yard line to get the ball, and I'm telling you, he's di he's too deep. He needs to be at the 30. Mm. I mean, I I don't mind kids running back, but if you can be up at the 30 to receive the ball, you're in better shape. See, the ball is going to make it back to about. Right. Whoa, good kick to the 40. Don't hit him in the back. Ah, uh, Isaiah. Rockets down the right side. He's got plenty of blocks. He's in Goodness the end zone. Gracious. Touchdown flags fly, though, around the 28-yard line. It is probably Rocket. coming back again. The the Devil touchdown. That's the third penalty on a touchdown. That would have been about a 40-yard um, punt return. Yep. That is three penalties on three touchdown returns, whether they be kickoff or punt or what have you, Flag to the interception ground. or pass. One was a run. It wasn't a big one. We had a big one. It wasn't a scoring play, but, yeah, it was. Uh, well, there was one that Bud called a, a beautiful down um, the 10 pass down about the 10. Yeah. Yeah, we got to clean up these. I tell you, we're we're playing good, but we can't. You can't get away with these mistakes when you go up against uh, North Panola and some mm -hmm. of these other. Next week, Calhoun City, you can't. You can't afford those mistakes. I told Isaiah not to be putting his Block in the back is the call. Ten yard penalty against the Blue Devils. Mark the ball at the 39 yard line. It's first down. First down, 10 yards to go. For That'll the be Devils. first and 10 for the Devils at the Trojan 39-yard line after all the uh, gives and takes with the Hankies. I'd rather them take them. Looks like Blaine Clark's got the ball. He's running around looking for a receiver up the middle. Mm. Oh, he had Bud Just on a, a cross little route. Little. Just a little, a little high. So what do you think, Chad? Do you like Blaine getting out of the pocket more like that, or do you do you like I him do. to hang in the pocket? I love seeing a quarterback scrambling. Of course, I'm an that's old defensive guy, and I used to like dead. me chasing them I'm when telling scrambling. You, but. Well, th that, that's one of the things that you can't account for is mm -hmm. a mobile quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve McNair was an example of that. You know, when Time he played Titans and whatever, you just you would shut down the play, but you mm -hmm. couldn't shut down him. They're going to have a timeout on the field. We're going to have a timeout, and we'll be back in just a minute. Six ten left in the first half. You're watching Blue Devil. Tri Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports, but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Here we go. Wayne Clark in the ball game. Got Rocket in the slot. Welch near side. Bud Tolbert on the far side, receivers. Blaine gets the ball, he fakes it to Rucker, and he takes it himself up the middle, and he's got room, he's running. He gets down to the 20th, so it'll be a first down and 10 from the red zone. Yes, sir. Just on the edge of the red zone. Blaine Clark, on the quarterback keeper. Man, that smell from the lumber yard is just potent, man. I'm telling you, it's that pine, it's that sap. Hitting you in the nose. Brings up a lot of memories of childhood down in South Mississippi. That's all we have down there is pine. So. You know, this smells like home. <laughs> well, and the wind has picked up a little bit, too, from that way. <laughs> from, that's good. From west of us. Blaine Clark gets the snap. He's looking for Tolbert on the left side. He's got him Ooh, in the end zone. Him. Touchdown. 20-yard strike. Yard. Blaine Clark to Clark's Bud Tolbert. To to My goodness. And Tolbert, listen, for the Blue Devils, the, there's not much you can do as a defender whenever the pass is thrown right there and – and Tolbert, as big as he is. And you can't grow a foot. You can't. I mean, there's just not much you could do other than maybe, maybe 
check them at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. And and I'm a big, big bump em, bump in coverage guy. I, I don't like to play them one-on-one -on -one like that. I like to bump them. So at the 529 mark in the uh, second quarter, 41 to zip. Water Valley looking to make, make it 42. John Surrett, kick is up. Man, he's just every time consistent down Automatic. the middle. Kick is good, kick 42 is good. to zero, Water Valley. And they're just, other than penalties tonight, Chad, the Blue Devils have been lights out. Well, the, the, the somber point is it's 42 to nothing. It could easily be 56 to nothing. Uh, you're, you're right. We'll be back in a minute after, uh, after this break for the kickoff. 42 to nothing, Water Valley. You're watching Blue Devil football. Tri-Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports, but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri-Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. We're back rolling. Trey is set to kick this thing off. Water Valley has scored early and often. This kick is high, end over end, quick spin on the ball, fielded at the 10. He's trying to bring it around this way. Cedric White, great job. I'm mm. going to tell you what, we'll talk about that in a minute. Tackled by, who's that, number 29. Number 29. Darius Tolbert, that's Bud's brother. But Cedric White made that play the stop carrot. right there. I'm going to tell you why. He sealed the outside. Even though he got taken out of the play, mm -hmm. he did not allow that ball carrier to get outside and get, get, out, get out of coverage, we, we, we say. So if we can keep him in the lane, we still have a chance to tackle him. But if, if he bites in and that guy gets outside, he's gone. Yeah. And then it's just a foot race at that point. I love special teams. The lanes, the – the reads that go on, it's incredible. I like that part of it. Trojans come to the ball, 520 in the second. Collins gets a snap, bit of a kind of mm -hmm. a fake fake, and then but he's going to be brought down for about an eight eight yard loss, maybe more. It's going to be Dre McCray on the open field. That's going to be a 10 and 12 yard loss. Wow, uh, 11. They're going to they're going to mark him at the 21, 11 yard loss. Well, it was a good play originally, but the, the, the good reads by the Water Valley defense, they didn't see anybody have the ball, so they kept pursuing the quarterback. Just, you know, like you've been taught, you know. And the quarterback, you know, I mean, 12-yard loss is a big, big deal, but he didn't do anything drastic. He well, didn't try to just throw it away. Or. Yeah. Well, we run that play in flag football all the time. I'll have two or three guys crossing in motion, and we'll fake, 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 and then, you know, hand off late or throw the ball. And it works at the six and seven year old level, but not at this not one. Not with 16 year olds and right. 17 year olds. Collins hands off to Cullens. He's got a little room. He makes it up to the 25. That was Paris Adams who made the play. Gain of about five yards. Third and six, 17. Colors. Third and 17. Wow. Stopped by Adams. It's just Game hard to play behind the sticks. Down, it's hard to play behind the sticks, well, you especially. Know, sometimes it's hard enough to get 10 yards in three tries. Getting 20 yards in three or four tries is even more, I, more difficult. I have watched many a ball game where you just look, hey, man, it's only 10 yards. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And usually it's Ole Miss. <laughs> Let's go. Can we not get two? Collins gets the snap. He's looking to throw right side to the slot receiver, number 30. He's got it, but he only got about seven yards. That's going to bring up fourth and nine, fourth and ten. Collins pass completes the Ryder Ward. Yeah, it may be their first completed pass. Don't punt it. They're going to have to punt this one. 
Well, they got the wind behind him this time. Looking at Old Glory over there, and it's blowing to the northeast a little bit. So the punter ought to have a couple of extra yards to uh, add on to the, the kick here. I think we tell our punt return team, just don't touch anybody if you, if you have to do that. Just don't <laughs> touch anybody. Well, you know, in this situation, see, it all comes down to pressure. If you get pressure on the kicker, it's going to be a bad kick traditionally. It kicks back a lot of pressure, and oh, he actually got off a decent kick this time. It's going to be a fair catch down at the 33-yard line. 33. 33-yard line, that's where uh, Water Valley will take over. It's fair cut. 2.49 left to go in the first half. 42 to zero, you score in favor of the Blue Devils. Uh, this one has been almost immaculate outside of penalties, Chad. What can you say? I, I was sitting here a moment ago. I was like, I don't even know that I have anything to add to the conversation. It seems like, <laughs> you know, other than our penalties that have crept up this week that have not been a problem. Right. Um, what a great all-around effort. Special Every teams, facet. absolutely. Yep. Jacob is perfect on the night. I think Jacob has missed two PATs in the past in four games, and he's been kicking a lot. Oh, uh, John. John. I said yeah. Jacob. I was thinking about Jacob Truss. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Blaine's only missed one pass, maybe. Mm -hmm. And Truss is <laughs> – I'd like to see how many yards he has rushing. He's – numbers-wise, I can't recall right off the top of my head. I looked before we came today. That He's second like, in uh, rushing, but but Tay has over 300 yards rushing in the two and a half games he played, you know, because that game against Coffeyville, I think he only had probably four touches. Trey McCray on the carry right there picks up Stopped about Glass, four and a half. Caught a, down, a long four and, and a half. It's going to be a long second and six. Call it second and six. Be optimists. We've got Cahill back in. Cahill's in the slot. Got Brandon Washington over there on the right side of the line. He'll be playing like a tight end type fullback, like a hybrid. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a stop. Scott, stop, 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 flag down, delay a game. Delay of game. Wow. Flag of the play. Was the clock reset? I doubt it. That felt like a fast delay 25 of seconds. Yeah, delay a game, Water Valley. That'll bring it back behind the chains. Second and about 11. Wow. So we got some new jerseys in, and uh, Coach not em many. Coach Embry's letting the side judge have it too. Yeah, I think I, I think there might have been that might have been a, a quick reset or a mm. no reset, one of the two on the clock. Cedric White's in the game at the res receiver on the far side. He got a slot right. Snaps back to Truss. Dre. He handed off to Dre, and Dre, Dre is still it. on his feet. Mm. Oh, ball, and oh, it's picked up picked by, up. Uh, that's uh, number Kai 25, Hill. Kai Hill, Houston, and he gets the first down. We'll take it. <laughs> I mean, when the ball bounces your way, mm. what can you say? I mean, that ball literally bounced our way. Right. And Kai Hill turned around, and the ball is <laughs> right. Hey, there's a the ball. I think I shall pick it up and move it this way. That's right. What a great heads up play by him, though, to understand just in space where he was, which way to go. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get in and spun get around. around. You get spun carry. around, absolutely. Yeah, we've seen that even at the pro level, guys run the wrong way. Mm -hmm. It makes blooper reels for hundreds Double of years. On the play recovered by the Blue <laughs> There's one from 1940 on, or 50-something like that <laughs> on there. The 47, first down, It'll be first down go. and 10 for uh, Blue Devils. Trust hands off to McCray. No, that's not McCray. That's number 15. Marion Morgan. Marion Morgan. He got one. He's second and nine coming up. Notice number 40, Brandon Washington is in. Yep. Still got Ja'Cory, Ty. Uh, let's Gain see. Yard, second down. Basically, you're, you're starting and line nine. in, and then you just got some, uh, some position guys coming in, some younger guys. There you go. That's going to go for about three. My goodness. That's going to be the last. Mary Morgan gets three. 30, 30 seconds left in the, in the first half. The Let's see. The they for the Blue Devils. haven't started the clock yet. Game now they did, we did not have to run a play. So that, that should be it. Maybe up to, to run third one. Down. Right. Third down. Uh, to they go. better hurry up if they want it. No, they're not going to run yeah, it. They're just, just going to go to the locker room. There they're just go. saying, hang out, hang out. All right, let's go. Easy to be content with 42 points. Well, five, four, three, two, one. 
And that's the end of the first half. You score Water Valley 42, that's Bruce Trojan 0. We'll be back in a minute for the Dunn's Country Store halftime scoring score. summary. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan & Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada. A family practice since 1926. Valley, see your good neighbor State Farm agent Andy Epps for your insurance and financial needs. Steve's scoring summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store, Highway 32 West, and the Silverina Community. Features Hickory Smoke Barbecue and Petted Never Frozen Hamburgers, their farm raised catfish, and their cooked order ribeye served each Friday and Saturday nights. Okay, we're back in Bruce, Mississippi, halftime. The Blue Devils have uh, they put a stamp on this one uh, 42 to 0 at the half. Uh, it's time now for the, the the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary. But you know what? We Bob, before we get to it, we have broken Chad in <laughs> early. I remember these nights having to do the uh, the four and five page scoring summaries, uh, those hundred point point games, and uh, man, it's brutal. You just feel like, wow, am I going fast enough? Because we got to get <laughs> to the next. You know, they're going to start here soon. Chad, tell us how it happened. Well, it's just kind of funny you're talking about that, about the scoring summary. You know, fortunately for us as, you know, Water Valley fans, it's it's one-sided. Mm -hmm. So the scoring started very early tonight. I actually caught Steve and I off guard. It was so early. Um, at 10 minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the first quarter, number one, Blaine Clark handed off to the usual, number 17, Tay Rucker, for a 15-yard touchdown run. John Tourette's PAT was good. Water Valley went up seven to nothing. With eight minutes and 21 seconds left to go in the first quarter, number one, Blaine Clark, through to number five, Bud Tolbert for a 49-yard touchdown reception for Bud. John Tourette's PAT also was good. Water Valley went up 14 to nothing. With three minutes and 47 seconds left to go in the first quarter, number five, Bud Tolbert intercepted a ball and returned for a pick six for 90 yards. Wound up with a 90-yard touchdown our interception for a touchdown, John Tourette's PAT was good. Water Valley up 21 to nothing. Very quickly in the second quarter, Ladies number 16, Jacob Truss for a 28-yard QB keeper. John Tourette's PAT was good. The score for Water Valley was 28 to nothing. With eight minutes and 57 seconds left to go, number one, Blaine Clark, through to number 22, Keldrick McIntosh, for a 54-yard touchdown reception. John Surrett's good, our PAT was good again. Water Valley up 35 to nothing. With five minutes and 29 seconds left to go in the second quarter, number one, Blaine Clark, again, number five, Bud Tolbert, for a 20 uh, for a 20 yard touchdown reception this time John Tourette staying perfect on the night and believe in four games so far has only missed two PATs and the score is 42 to nothing and that's where we stand right now at halftime Water Valley 42 Bruce Trojans zero well we've just been checking the uh, fact sheet Largest Bruce victory is 50 points back in 1974 that's 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 as old as me brother uh, <laughs> October. I was born in November, so it's actually one month and uh, 21 days older than me. The most Water Valley points, 46, September 8, 2017, which is the last year, were four points from tying that at halftime. Well, and we had two that have already been called back, so right. we could have technically <laughs> already broken that record. Right. So here's what we need to do. We need to score more than 50 so we can grab that back. And then, uh, you know. And then let everybody take a breather. <laughs> and then let some kids take a breather. Right now, we're going to take a breather, get some water, and be back for the second half kickoff. After this, you're watching Blue Devil Football. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. 
Turnages not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the Old Fashioned Snack Bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Insurance Get Real Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. See agents Chuck Up Church, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area. A way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Okay, we're ready to get this thing started. Second half. Blue Devils are lined up, ready to kick this thing off to the Trojans. Dre McCray got the wind at his back. He's kicking to the north. He boots it. Ooh, That's a good one. Man. Fast rotation down to about the six. That's uh, Collins, number one. He gets nailed at the 26. That's number 10, Dre McCray on the stop. And he's uh, he's going to be a, a, a future baller here. He's only in uh, ninth grade now, so... You know, he's going to be a high producer here in the next two or three years. Well, now, I haven't been, you know, just real close to Dre, so I don't, you know, size-wise and stuff, you know, sometimes it's a little deceptive. But you think about, so if he's ninth grade, he's 14, somewhere in that neighborhood. He was, uh, I think, Dre might be an older, like so maybe, Blaine. He, so he's like he's, Blaine. He's well, a, even if he's 15, he may have three to five years of growth left. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, he's a more mature ninth grader. Mm. He's like Blaine. He's uh, a year ahead, a year behind, a year ahead, something like that in age. Uh, my son is like that. We mm -hmm. we we got him. He's going to be the same. Oh my goodness! Bruce hands off the ball up the middle to number nine, and he is tearing off about a forty-yard run. Run down uh, my rocket. 10, 20, 30. Down to the forty, about forty-three. Uh, 35 yards right there. Goodness. Down to the 37, 37 yard line of Water Valley. Yeah, that's a that's definitely their longest pickup of the night. I think the coach just leaned in and said, do it again. Well, you know, you look at the line and it's not a whole lot of different. You've got Kawan in there. You've got uh, Marcus. Marque yeah, Marley's little brother. <laughs> All yep. right, Collins yep. comes under center, hands off to the fullback, and he pushes ahead for about three. It's a pretty good little pickup for first down. Move yeah, the, those are the pickups that, uh, you know, just to kind of grind it out a little bit. They're going to give him four. Yeah. Three and a half. That's going to cost some clock time on the clock, and, you know, we're not to a running clock, I don't think, I yet. haven't seen the – yeah, we'll have to wait for a, a stop. But Right. See what – whether it actually does stop or not. Water Valley, we need to stop right here. Second about uh, six, seven. Mm. Oh, now that's oh, stuff. That's Benson not right a, at the line of scrimmage. He may he have picked have up half a yard. Yeah. Benson, he was not in there. Now he is, and the ball stopped at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Difference maker. They said McIntosh on the stop, but we know different. I saw it. That's going to bring up third and about six. It was funny. I was looking through some stats this week, and Javarius Benson has a um, one-yard carry, and it was that one-yard touchdown run last week. And been calling his name a good bit on defense tonight. Hand off to the uh, tailback this time, number nine for Bruce. And he got maybe a yard, maybe two. And he's going to be about four yards shy of a first down, a long four. That uh, that's going to bring up fourth and we'll call it four, but yeesh, barely, just less than five. Fourth and four, they're going to go for it. That was Cameron Sales first making first contact and started pulling the pile backwards and then got some help and it 
the whole pile just move backwards in. That's Trey Wofford, running number four the, for running the ball. Mm -hmm. Or number no, that's number four. I'm looking number nine, Zach Martyr. Zach Martyr is number nine. He's got a little speed. Collins outside on us. Collins comes under center, hands well, he faked the handoff. He's rolling out right. He wants to throw it, but oh, he oh, almost got picked. Goodness. Well, they just really didn't have an open receiver. He probably probably should have thrown that ball more towards the sideline and got it, you know, error on the side out of bounds. But for, nonetheless, first down, Water Valley going the other way. And you would assume the clock's not running right now, but if we put this ball in the end zone, it shall. Probably quickly. Yep. Yeah. Probably quickly. Let's see who we got. Trust is coming out. McCray in the backfield. Washington Dalton Higdon is going to be your center. And uh, got a whole crew of new guys. Yeah, yeah. Looks like number 72, Isaac Phillips over there on right guard. The tackle is standing to where I just can't quite see his the number. The right tackle is Austin. Austin, okay. Austin Potts. All right. That's going to be number 68 over there. Looks like we have 77, the left guard, Chase King. And 75 is, uh-oh, bad snap, but Trust gets it. There he you go. Turns nothing into something. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Chad, maybe picked up a hair. <laughs> I mean, it's that thing hit Dalton was snapping. It hit mm -hmm. it Jacob in the chest and went straight up over his head. He turned and caught it and ran through two Trojan defenders and picked up five yards for a gain of about one. <laughs> <laughs> Running five to make one. That's yeah, right. Second down. That's right. Second and nine. You've got uh, Cedric up. White on the far side receiver, Jake, uh, Jacob Welch on the near side receiver, number eight. Treshawn, Treshawn Morgan. Treshawn Morgan in the slot. He's going to move over to the far side of the field with, with Cedric. Jacob Truss in the ball game. Now they put uh, Morgan in motion and give it off to McCray up the middle. Man, he's stumbling, mm. bumbling. He got close to the first down. Maybe he's got up to about the, just over the 40. To the, about the 39, he's going to be a ball or two shy. It'll be about a yard shy. It'll be about third and one. The gain is to the 41 yard line. It's third down. Third down, one yard to go for the Blue Devils. It's number 19, Malik Joy coming in, receiver on the near side. And number 75, Kentavious Hervey. That was the left tackle whose number I didn't get a moment ago. Mm hmm. Leak comes to the line. They send Morgan in motion. Snap. There's a little movement mm -hmm. on the right side over there. Good snap, man. I like Dalton's firing off the ball, mm -hmm. too, pretty well. He's, he's undersized for a center. But, he is. But you know spunk, what? Little I fire. always said that Ty Morgan was undersized for a center. Mm -hmm. But he holds his own, he man, does. against the big guys. Yep. Yep. So whatever they're doing, they're making them mean up there, and they're, they're tough. <laughs> Make them work. Brandon Washington, kind of an H-back type guy that nine seconds on the play clock, eight, seven. Jacob Trust gets Morgan in motion. And now that time there was movement out of Bruce. They're going to stop the play. We'll get Looks the five like yards back. hopefully we get that five back. Hopefully it wasn't one of us, but I think they're saying it's us. Seriously. Wow. It sure did look like that, that left uh, defensive end over there. Came across the line and then we moved. Look, man, this umpire crew should have had the hamburger steak tonight. They've been in a better mood. Yeah, I think so. Hamburger steak would have put them their mind mm. unagi. That's right. Usa. <laughs> now we're looking at a third and eleven. Six twenty-seven to go in the third quarter. Morgan in motion. Trust hands off to Morgan. Oh, he can't. Yeah, he did he hand did. it off to Morgan. He's he's still rolling. Look at him. He finally gets tackled around the 38. I mean, he was down over there, but not all the way. His knee didn't touch. Nope. Stop by Jennings, the game. That's going to bring up fourth and about four. Fourth, yeah, long four. We're going to punt. Yeah, we're going to have to boot this one away. Trust will drop back. In comes uh, Grant Burris, Dalton Higdon. That'll be the first punt of the night for the Blue Devils. All right. Stretch, you hate that, but stretch your leg out. I mean, at 42 points, 42 to nothing, 5.55 to go in the third quarter. It's not a down. There's no downside right now. 
Lane Clark is your personal protector. Snaps good. Truss is about to whop it. Mm. He did. It's got a helicopter kick. Good hang time, though. Fielded <laughs> by that's Colin. No, that's number four. Uh, let's see. That's Trey Wofford. And he, uh, that ball had a little knuckleball on it, and it, it made him fall down. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. Be right back. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. <laughs> That's the secret phone. The what? Remember, I told you my dad's a shelter agent. When that phone rings, he rushes out to save the day. Whether someone's home or car gets damaged, my dad is always there to help. He has the coolest job ever. Find your insurance superhero at shelterinsurance.com. Got the insurance coverage you need at the right price. Call Cherie Jackson today. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. First down, Trojans. 5.32 to go in the third. 42 to nothing to score, Water Valley. Collins under center. He keeps it. He, I think he was supposed to hand that off, but he kept it. And he's, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. He just tripped over a grass ninja. Mm. And uh, back at about the 12, 13 yard line. I'm going to mark him at the 13. I think he found uh, the kids. You know, honey, I shrunk the kids. Maybe wow. he found the kids down there. So, yeah. <laughs> Man. We got to add sound effects. You know, Bob's got to get in there and overlay some uh what's some uh <laughs> some sound effects and and some graphics. What about some Chris old Batman Ninja. graphics? Pal. Yeah, pal. Yeah, all that kind of or or who's that wrestler that John Cena or whatever mm -hmm. and they, they get them in the <laughs> lock. Oh man, this is going to be second and about 25 for the Trojans. He hands off to the tailback. That's number nine. Mm. And, man, well I'll tell you again. what, he has been their, their best rusher so far. Every time he's gotten the ball, he's picked up a few yards, and this time he picks up about eight. Uh, really mm, really close to about ten yards right mm. there. It's going to make it third and about 14. It's number nine, uh, number nine Zach Martyr. He had that big gain right mm -hmm. after halftime. Right after halftime, right. It's time the Trojans come to the line. Receiver right, left. Uh, I formation. Collins under center. He's going to hand it off to uh, Martyr again off the left side. And mm -hmm. look, he's moving the ball. There's no other way to say it. That time he was tackled by Morgan. About the... 31. Yeah, right at the 31 yard line to be fourth down there. They're going to have to punt this ball. They're deep in their own territory. Fourth and seven. You are a winner. Well, here comes the punt team. Water Valley does not yet have a return guy back. So they're just going to concede to the kick. How, you know, if he can kick it 60 yards, that's where we start with the ball. Uh-oh. Where's the punter? 
or the personal protector. That's what we're looking for. Uh-oh, timeout. They're going to have a timeout. Clock was about to run out. They called timeout. We'll take a break and be right back with this punt right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American. Too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. CWI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. C.W. White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non-ethanol free gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street. Also additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis and Cenotopia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. Valley, see your good neighbor State Farm agent Andy Epps for your insurance and financial needs. All right, Trojans are about to punt this thing off the Water Valley. Kind of a half spiral kick, like a reverse spiral. It's going to be down about the 37, 38 yard line of Water Valley. Blue Devils will start their, uh, their drive here. We're kind of hoping with three minutes and three seconds left in the third, we can go on and run this thing down here and get it in the end zone, so maybe we'll run the clock. Mm. And, you know, they, they agree on the running of the clock before the game, I understand, and maybe maybe uh, maybe one of the coaches didn't agree to it. Maybe. You know, Brad would, because we've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're not willing to run the clock, then we may just have to say, okay. Well, it may be one of those things, Coach Faust. Like, you know what? I don't care how bad it gets. We need to. We need to practice. Yeah. And. Uh, well, for us, and we I need know to, you'll put in. Yeah. You know yeah. the younger guys. So, yeah. and we need to help with the younger yeah. guys too. That's so. right. Development. This time, Morgan was back for the snap. Number fit. Well, no, that's number fifteen. Uh, Marion Morgan. Marion Morgan. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Marion is back as the quarterback, Morgan. kind of in a wildcat. At right guard. Tackle by Nick's gain of one yard. Second down, second and nine. But I'm pretty sure he's got the quarterback 39. tag on his name, too. Let's see. Yeah, quarterback, linebacker. Morgan is a uh, is a quarterback. Number six, Hayden Eubanks is in, too. And Treshawn Morgan still in at the slot. Got Kyle Hill Houston over on the near side. Got a slot receiver on the far side as well. Morgan in motion. Uh-oh. Snap went through Morgan's fall hand. He falls on it at the 26. Wow. Got to catch those. Mm -hmm. That brings up third and a long way. That's going to bring up third and uh, let's see. Back to the 20, 21. Fourth and third and 21. Third and, yep, third and 21. Well, this time Hayden Eubanks. Is that Hayden getting mm -hmm. the snap? He gives off to Morgan. Morgan gets stopped at about the 28, 27. And running in on about the 28. Running, out, running in at the 28. You're right. That's going to bring up fourth down. Morgan on the carry. And the second punt. Early. Minute 13, minute 12 left in and the uh, third quarter. 42 to nothing is your score. Water Valley has got the uh, fresh jerseys in. They're getting Four, some experience. And this is good film, good film study for these guys. Got Blaine in his up back. Yeah, he's always a personal protector. Uh, 
I wouldn't imagine we'd have a fake here. Snaps back. Truss is going to boot it. This is not a bad kick. Mm. Kind of a wobbly. And it's fumbled around the 30, but he picked it back up at the 28. And that's not just a hard ball to catch. It's like one of those rugby-style kicks. When it got over his head. Or the inside the 20 type kick where they drop the nose and punt the nose of the football. And it just has a funky type of uh, – it's got a knuckle and a spin to it, and it's just incredibly tough to catch. You know, like at the high school level, you yeah. don't work on it. You're actually trying to, at this level, work on spiraling the ball. But in the pros, they go back to working on these kicks. But a lot of these kids probably don't – Maybe accidentally they see some different kinds of kicks and different kinds of punts, but not necessarily intentionally seeing those different kinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're actually pretty tough. I, I've tried to catch a few, and I'd rather catch a spiral. I'm going to just mm -hmm. tell you. <laughs> Blue Devils going to try to stop the Trojans. They got the ball on their own 28. Collins gets the snap, hands off to the fullback right up the middle, and he's going to get about four. Maybe five. It's probably the last play of the uh, third quarter here. 20, 20 seconds left on the clock. They don't have to get it off. Probably not going to. Right. I imagine they would not get this off. 13 seconds. 12. 10. Collins is just now getting into the huddle. They're coming to the ball. Two. They're not going to make it. One. And, oh, did they? Oh, I thought they got it off. <laughs> that was close, but mm -hmm. referee stopped the play right before the snap. We'll take a break. Be back for fourth That's quarter it. action. After this, you're watching Blue Devil Football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Tri Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports, but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan & Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnault are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Second about four for the Trojans. 29 gets the ball up in the middle. He's got the first down. That was Higdon in on the stop. Looked like a little hand Let's to the face, but I'm nothing called. No. First down, Trojans. Let him play. Game of eight yards and good enough for a Trojan first down. First down, 10 yards to go. The ball spotted on the 40. Whew. It's turned off cool and it's it really is, nice. Yeah. It's a far cry from where we were at, you know, about 6 15. It was. Hot. Ooh, hand off to number 35, fullback for uh, Trojans. He picked up about four on that, that carry. I want to remind everybody that you can pick up the broadcast every Saturday starting at 11 o'clock on Channel 97, Max South. And also on Mondays, I usually get a notification if you'll go and like mm -hmm. uh, Bob Murphy four. Productions. You'll get a notification on your iPhone that you just click on it and go straight to the game when there's a new upload. But you can go to YouTube and just type in Water Valley versus and the opponent that, that you want to see, and you can watch the games on YouTube. Uh-oh, 29 hauled in <laughs> the pitch mm. and actually managed to pick up about three. He's carrying that ball in a little bit of a dangerous fashion. And 
<laughs> After that catch, I was just happy he got it and hauled it, it, it in because if he had let that one go, it might have been six real quick. The third and about three for the Trojans. Cameron Sales in, Dre McRae. Number 26, we finally looked up his number. We believe that's Chris Harris marked as a freshman. He is lined up at DB on the near side here. Collins under center, he gives off to the tailback. And man, the tailback, he mm. shot out of there. The, the end, there just was nobody there on the end. Kai Hill was the only guy that could make the play. He had to kind of fold back to make the play. That's going to be a first down, Bruce. First down, Bruce, at the uh, 40, about the 44-yard line of Water Valley. 9.33 to go in the contest. 42-0, to zero, Blue Devils. High formation, Collins under center. He hands off to the fullback this time, and he gets about a yard before he's nailed by about four Blue Devils. That's uh, Treshawn Morgan and uh, Sales. Looks like uh, maybe number 60. Gain of one yard, second down. That is Joseph Witt. Second and nine. Second and nine for the Trojans. At number 62, Jamarcus McIntosh in it, um, linebacker, outside linebacker, right outside. Collins gets a snap, hands off the tailback. Manny shoots right up the middle for a gain of about 13, 13 yards. And that was number eight, Trisha Morgan. We were talking a little bit earlier about some of the the ties, the relationships that Water Valley football program has with uh, Bruce Trojans. We've got uh, the most recent Coach uh, Coach Faust has left Water Valley, came to, to Bruce, and then um, just a year prior to that, Vaughn Daniels was at Bruce and came to Water Valley. Yeah. First and 10 for the Trojans. Naked bootleg for uh, Collins. He gets around the corner. He's over the 20. 15 inside the 10 to the five, maybe the four, down to the two, two and a half yard line, maybe the three. They're marking him at the three. That was Kyle wow. Houston saving the touchdown there. Bruce, Bruce threatening to score here with in the fourth quarter again. Water Valley late in the game, allowing some uh, a little bit of movement from yeah. the. Uh, that's the first string, first string offense still out of Bruce, but. Uh, Anyway, we go a little bit farther back. You got Chick, uh, was it uh, Chester Jury? Spent a little time at both programs. Number 29 gets the carry up the middle. He stopped. He may have, may have got the line of scrimmage. Before that, who we had, uh, who's that? Terry Allen. He was here and then uh, at Bruce and left and went to Water Valley and we know that Brad Embry, who was Tackle from Bruce, field. just surpassed no gain on the play. Terry Allen not mm. too long ago for the most wins. The ball at the two. Second down. Goal Bruce and Water Valley. Seems like we, we share a, a lot of our coaches, coaching staff. Several connections. Oh, oh. wow, look at that. The runner, the, the Collins handed off to the running back, and he was hit immediately. That's going to be a loss of about three. That was Morgan, number eight. Morgan. Morgan shot through, Morgan. untouched. And what I love to hear is, you, you know, we're up here kind of close to the, the uh, coaches, the yeah. and they're coaching right now more, I think, than they were when the starters were in. You can hear them over there coaching nonstop. So, you know, you hear Coach Roberts up here feeding. Hey, this guy's doing that. This guy's no, doing no. this. There's a ball on the ground, I think. Was it a ball? Nevertheless, the ball play was stopped around the four-yard line. It's going to be fourth and goal from the four for the Trojans. Can the, can the Blue Devil defense keep a, keep a goose egg I up there? I think so. I think so. They are playing tougher now with the back up against well, the wall. Than well, you got doing. the back of the end zone yeah. as your 13th player or your yeah. 12th player. So 
you know, it kind of limits your, your offense inside the red zone because you, you have no deep threat. Right. And everything's kind of contained a little bit, you know, so you're 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 along the lines instead of vertical. So you've got you've got safety help and uh, DB help. I think they're coming this way. Yeah, they're lined up far on the right side of the field. Collins gets the ball and he actually hands off. They run off tackle. And they get nothing. And they got him. They got him at the two yard line. Good job, guys. Atta boy, kept the goose egg. I was wrong. They went the uh, to the right instead of this way. Uh, yeah, and that's why that's. They do those little short field, short field plays all the time, and you know, if you if you're not on your assignment, you know, you, you follow the guard the wrong way or the lead block. But that time they had mm. I, I formation. The fullback went right, mm -hmm. the running back went right. There was no trickery there whatsoever. Just good defense out of the Blue Devils. They'll take over at the three two, right at the two yard line. And but here's the thing though. 5:35 to go in the third in the fourth quarter. We got to move the ball. We'll take a break and be right back for first down with the Blue Devils. Right after this, you're watching Blue Devil football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alaboshi County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of Fixtures, Gauges, Jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnages not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American. Too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. All right, Water Valley. Got the ball on their own two yard line. They got to move it out there. Got to get away from the Snap back. Keeper. Not like that. Uh, maybe one, maybe, maybe line of scrimmage. The sideline judge is not moving. It's going to be actually a loss mm. of about one. So I guess we had the ball on the three. Now we're on the two. We went backwards. Yucky. Looked like a not of a bad uh, not a bad design play. Quick, you know, shotgun snap mm -hmm. to the quarterback. Of course, I've never been a fan of shotgun in this area of the field. No, I don't like it inside the five on this side and no. inside the five on this side. Too much opportunity for problems. Right. You just, you, your quarterback's already. If he didn't have enough to think about, now he's nervous about catching the ball. And that's Morgan, number fifteen. Timeout. Timeout. Three Bruce. seconds were left on the clock. We'll take a break and be back for second down right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Water Valley, what a great place to live. And Fisher Properties, your home-owned real estate company, wants to help. Whether you're buying, selling, 
or just looking to rent, let Fisher Properties serve your real estate needs. Contact them at 473-4503, come by 105 Railroad Street in Water Valley, or check them out on the web at fisherproperties.net. Let Fisher's real estate experience work for you. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. We're back. We got to get it out of the end zone. We lost a yard on first down, second and about 11. Ball's on the two. Number, uh, looks like, that looks like, is that Truss in at quarterback? Uh oh. It is. Well, uh, no, that's uh, number six. That's Eubanks. That's Eubanks. And it looks like he did a little hard count, got. Did we get Bruce to move? Or which who? They, yeah, they got him to move, so that's going to help out. That's five yards. It's going to be second and about seven. Five yards. It's second down. Second. Second. And six. You would call it six. Yeah, but just looking at the change, it looks more like seven. But we'll take we'll take, take six. six. John Sorette out at wide receiver now on the near side. Eubanks gets a snap, gives it off to Dre McCray. Man, he didn't go. He didn't go far. Mm -mm. He may have. He might have lost one. Maybe. Well, let's no. see. Side judge is sitting put and staying put. Yeah, he's not moving. McCray on the carry. Stopped by Eubanks after every play is going back to get the Jimmy. call from uh, Coach Embry okay, himself. Third down. Third down and six yards to go. He comes in third and six for the Blue Devils. Four twenty-one. Yeah, we need to get this thing out of here. Let's get a first down so we can run this clock out. Oh, another jump it looked like. He didn't cross. Eubanks gets the snap, hands off to McCray. He got up to about the nine, but that's it. McCray, it's going to be moving back. He got the nine, four progress to the nine, so that'll be fourth and about four, four for the Blue Devils. We'll have to punt it. Gain of a couple, it's fourth down. Well, it sure is a lot of punts here <laughs> out of the Blue Devils for a, a game like this. You know, you go back and look at it after it's over, and you say, well, we won 42 to nothing. How many times you punt? Eight times. <laughs> How? Where? How? Just field position at the end. Yeah. Truss is in the end zone. He's a couple yards in the end zone. They're stopping timeout. the play. Timeout. Uh, the officials, Water Valley is no. going to call a timeout. Well, yeah, five, time out, time out, Blue Devils. Something's going on. I think it's a personnel issue. Coach Embry decided to call a timeout. Well, and I saw Jacob counting. I mean, yeah. I know they usually do that anyway, but it could have been something with that. I only count nine guys, ten guys. Yeah, there was only ten guys out there for the Blue Devils. All right, next week, uh, Chad, we're going to be home, home, home. Thank goodness, home, home. <laughs> kind of. Forgotten what that feels like. Oh, man, three three day, three game three road games is brutal. Yeah. Sometimes you'll have four, but that's man, I, I wouldn't put up with it. That's a long stretch. We'll, we'll be home against next week against Calhoun City. Blue Devils will have their first probably real, real challenge. Plate full of steak right that's there. Right. So got a little battle of the bands going on. Calhoun City has always come in with well coached teams and. Good athletes, man. I'm telling you, they uh, and I don't think this year will be any different. Truss is in the end zone. He's about two, two or three yards in the end zone. He gets a low snap, gets it off. It's a wobble, low kind kick, of a knuckleball, and no field. It's just going to roll. Look at this. Wow, mm. we'll it's actually going to turn out to be about a 44-yard kick after all Trust said and done, or a 40, at least Inside 40. Where well, the it's Trojans will take over on their own side of the field at the 47-yard line. 
3.06 to go. First down, 10 yards to go. The bugs are even getting tired. Look, Chad. Like some of them they're home. flying slower. They filled up on blood and are headed to the, the nest. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we're feeling. Maybe it's lightheadedness from blood loss from mosquitoes. From and mosquitoes. I'm going to have to go get a West Nile virus check tomorrow. Mm. Hope not. <laughs> Bruce is coming to the ball eye formation. Man, they have run a lot of different backs in the game. Hand off to the tailback, number nine. Man, and he's still moving that ball. He's still moving off seven or eight yards about every time. That's Just martyr. Crazy, crazy. The kid's pretty tough. by Morgan. Hey, you kind of makes me kind of figure, line. you know, it's why wasn't this kid in the game? I, he, I know I understand first yards. string, second Get string, down. somebody's tired, whatever, but why was he not running earlier? Why? It looks like to me he's, he's running downhill too. He's got his pad mm -hmm. level low, and he's he's hitting the hole with speed, you know. Where has he been? Collins under center, second about three. He gives off to the tailback. Different guy this time, number 20 something, I missed the number. He's tackled, got a first down inside the 40 yard line for the Trojans. Uh, the Blue Devils side of the field. That was number 29. Number 29, Dontavious Tedford. Two minutes and four seconds left in the game. Blue Devils are just trying to hold, 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 give a little, don't break. Bend, but don't break. Bend, but don't break. They, they want the first goose egg of the season. Gives off to the fullback. Oh, wow. Tackle the football right there. Mm. Who was that? That was uh, looked like Cameron, but yeah, I think number, it was Cameron Sales. And number 15, Marion Morgan. Curry. He tackled the ball. He grabbed the ball. I'll tell you what, so you don't have to tackle the guy if you tackle the ball because mm. he ain't going nowhere without it. No, and he's going to hold on to it. He feels a little tug. He's going to hold a little that harder. That will stop his momentum quickly. You always hear coaches say, tackle the football, tackle mm -hmm. the football. That was a good wrap up right there. It was. Martyr. That's number eight, Morgan, and mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Washington. Mm -hmm. Good stop. Brings us down to right at one minute left so, to go. Morgan. First down, Washington but you, now you're inside the game. a minute, the and the, the Trojans are not tearing down. off uh, enough at one time to on be a threat. Just got to protect against that breakaway right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe give him a little cushion. A different quarterback this time. He hands off the tailback. He's going to lose yardage. Fumble, ball, fumble. Ball. Oh, he jumped. He just fell on it. Wow. Ball hit the ground. That's going to be. That's going to bring up second and about 15 with 30 seconds left to go in the contest. Stopped again by Morgan. They may. This might be your last play coming up right here. Could be. Trojans have timeouts, but I don't think they're going to use them. Collins under center, last play of the ball game, hands off to uh, number nine, and he's he gained a couple, Chad. But that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's going to be the last play of the ball game. Three. Way to hold on, two, man. One. And Blue Devils have they they put up a goose egg. First one of the year. First one of all year. Avery Norris just got the uh, the water bottle bath. <laughs> well, your final score from Bruce, Mississippi, Water Valley, 42, Bruce Trojans, zero. We'll be back to wrap this thing up and get a score in summary uh, in just a second. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Joe Black and Associates Public Accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil Athletics and Academics. Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field, but in the classroom, offering individual, business, and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll, and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. Your voice lets him know he's safe. Shelter Insurance does the same for you. 
Roadside assistance provided by Road America is now included with your auto policy. We'll take care of you while you take care of what's most important. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Ask Cherie Jackson about Shelter's roadside assistance. Midtown Auto Parts, your car quest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy duty vehicles, custom made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy duty equipment. Three and four wheeler parts and small engine parts too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of KN air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. Steve's scoring summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store, Highway 32 West, and the Silverina Community. Features Hickory Smoke Barbecue, hand petted never frozen hamburgers, their farm raised catfish, and their cooked order ribeye served each Friday and Saturday nights. Finally, put a goose egg on the board, Chad. Uh, tonight's game, a little bit. A little bit expected, but then again, not expected. I mean, we really, the score should have been worse than it was. Uh, 42 to nothing. Tonight here from uh, Bruce, Mississippi, Water Valley got the ball first, drove down very quickly. With 10 minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the first quarter, number one, Blaine Clark, handed off to number 17, Tay Rucker. Tay took it in for a 15-yard touchdown run. John Surrett's PAT was good. The score came up uh, 7 to nothing, Water Valley on top. Eight minutes and 21 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Number one, Blaine Clark threw a pass to number five, Bud Tolbert. Bud um, brought it in and carried it home for 49-yard touchdown reception. John Tourette's PAT also good. Score stood 14 to nothing in favor of your Blue Devils. Three minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Number five, Bud Tolbert intercepted the ball, making a pick six, running back for about 90 yards from 89 to 90-yard touchdown. Return, John Surrett's PAT was good. Water Valley up 21 to zero. Second quarter, 11 minutes, 26 seconds left to go. Number 16, Jacob Truss, uh, keeping the ball himself for 28 yard quarterback keeper. Touchdown run, John Surrett's PAT was good. Score stood at 28 to nothing in favor of your Blue Devils. Eight minutes and 57 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Number one, Blaine Clark connected to number 22, Keldrick McIntosh, for a 54-yard touchdown reception. Surrett's PAT, good. Your Water Valley Blue Devils led 35-0. to zero. With five minutes and 29 seconds left to go in the second quarter in the first half, number one, Blaine Clark connecting again to number five, Bud Tolbert, for a 20-yard touchdown reception. John Surrett, perfect on the night. I think John has missed maybe two PAT attempts all year. His, good, his uh, PAT was good, bringing the score 42 to nothing at halftime. That's where it stayed the entire second half. Our men holding strong there at the end and not allowing a touchdown at all. First shutout of the season. So there we go. Uh, first shutout against Bruce since 1994. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to get your uh, input on. You know, something's been bothering me the last couple of weeks. Um, I like the dominance, but what do you think about this? Bud Tolbert, uh, uh, running back position, quarterback position. Obviously, the quarterback's getting a lot of play. But I think Tay Rucker and Bud are kind of at a disservice because the game they're not getting that whole four quarters of action. They're not. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, because soon we're going to be in battles. Where we and need them, the where whole we need time. them the whole four quarters, right. and they need to be in a rhythm for four quarters, and and it kind of it kind of is is worrying me a little bit that they're they're going to get used to playing a half. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it, it is easy for us to set up here, and certainly we are not second guessing our, our coaches at all in anything that we say. We are, of mm -hmm. course, you know, up here high above the action, and you know, different perspective and things like that. I think more than anything, it's good for those two young men to come in to be dominant, to exact their will on everything, um, every part of the play. I mean, my goodness, we're calling Bud's name on the offensive and defensive side. Mm -hmm. Bud has scored two defensive touchdowns this right. year. Um, you know, one in fumble recovery that he actually caused a couple of weeks ago at Coffeeville and tonight with a interception return. I think we're kind of saving those, um, those studs. We're saving those yep. guys for later and, 
Um, and we're definitely going to need them. And I think those two young men are certainly of, uh, of the capacity and the ability and the understanding that we're going to need you four quarters probably next week. <laughs> probably next week. And, and I think we're, we're going to be okay with that. Well, talking about next week, we're finally back home. Man, I'm going to be excited just to go home and, and, and eat and whatever and then just show up at the field and Ready get to, to go. get yeah. Bobby Clark Field and watch a football game there. Man, I, 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 I can't even remember the first game almost. So Seems we'll be, like an eternity. <laughs> exactly. We'll be back in just a minute to talk about next week's opponent and uh, wrap this thing up. You're watching Blue Devil Football. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. All right, we're back in Bruce, Mississippi. Next week, we're going to be home uh, against Calhoun City. This year, I think Calhoun City is just kind of our – we're talking around it. They've always got – they're always going to bring a good team to the field. They're always going to be well coached. Uh, they're always going to give you 100% effort. But there's just that – there's just that one little voice in the back of your head saying, we, we can beat them this year. Yep. I'm pulling it up on Max Preps. The game that they're playing tonight is West Bolivar. They that game West is still Bolivar. in in um, what's the word I'm looking for? Progress. Yeah, in progress. In that progress. was the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, but uh, they beat Coffeeville 47 to six, very similar to what we did a couple of weeks ago. Right. Um, they lost to Houston 20 to seven. They lost to Ripley last week seven to six. Close one. Um, very very close. And like I said, you know we'll kind of wait on the. The score tonight, but they're playing us here. Are uh, they playing us at Water Valley next week? So maybe, maybe not as not as distant of a of a victory there, but certainly some things to look forward to. Got to clean up those penalties, well, especially yeah, the foolish ones. You know, in years past, we've gone down to Calhoun City and they've come here, uh, come to Water Valley, and and they've had a good team, and and maybe we had an okay team, but you know, they just they they've had that that peak in their program for a, for a little while now. Mm. And and, uh, and you've got to be firing on all cylinders to beat a team like that. And uh, But I think, I really do think this year, if, if we're ever going to beat them, this year is going to be the year. Going to have to be. <laughs> That's right. You know, we're four, you know, stand here 4-0, and oh, and I don't really care who you've played, 4-0 oh is a big deal. I mean, because there's a lot of teams that are, that are not undefeated anymore. Well. Next couple of weeks are going to be tough for the Blue Devils. They need to show up and show out. That's for, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, next week, we're going to be home. Need everybody out there with their blue and white on and screaming for the Blue Devils. Uh, so until then, next week, Bobby, Bobby Clark Field. I'm Steve Lindsay with Chad Franks and Bob Murphy. See you later. Water Valley Blue Devil football has been brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Yalabusha Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Tri Lake Eye Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black and Associates, Midtown Auto Parts, Coffeyville Main Street Insurance, Crow Martin PLLC, CW White Incorporated, Horan and Horan PLLC. Fisher Properties, Shelter Insurance, Vans Furniture and Laundry, and Mechanics Bank. Water Valley Blue Devil Football has been a production of Murphy Productions.